What's up everyone, it's your boy Norman Rad 89 here bringing you another video today and for today's video it's going to be another wrestling prediction video. Yes, it's the weekend of pay-per-views. I just did a prediction video yesterday on Saturday for Night of Champions WWE. I had a lot of great luck with that one. Actually got a 100%, got everyone right, but now we're going to try to do Double or Nothing, which is in Vegas. This is the AEW pay-per-view that is on tonight. And this one, the way AEW has their stuff set up, they're already a little bit more unpredictable. And even the card here, it's a little bit unpredictable just in terms of what you're going to be able to see. But we're going to give it a shot and see if we can do that. I got the matches right here and the cards and everything on my phone with all the matches. So we're going to look at it right now. Oh, one that's not on here, that's not on this card, is going to be the one that's, I believe, going to be on YouTube for the pre-show. And that's the Hardy Boys. Uh, against Ethan Page and the guns and everything. It's going to be like a triple threat or like a three on three kind of match thing. And I think that one I'm going to go Matt and Jeff. I think I'm going to, I'm going to go Matt and Jeff. I have to side with the Hardy Boys. Like we got to side with them, you know, delete, delete. So we're going with them against the guns for the win. So next up we have Jade Cargill versus Taya Valkyrie. Jade Cargill's streak is on the line as well as her title. And I actually think. Taya Valkyrie is going to be the one to end it. I really do think Taya is going to be the one to go in there and end Jade's streak and maybe start turning Jade Cargill into like a babyface chaser. You know what I mean? We can I can see that happening, and you know, it'll bring a new aspect to her character. And I think Jade Cargill needs that. We've already done the Goldberg kind of thing with her. Now let's end the streak and kind of evolve her character into the next stage. Next, we have the Blackjack Battle Royale. That's the 21-man Blackjack Battle Royale for the International Championship. Our boy Orange Cassidy is in there, but they have a lot of mix of a lot of other people who have problems going on, like, you know, Jay White, the Bullet Gold, and Keith Lee, and freaking, you know, all those people, Swerve Strickland. There's a lot of forces coming to head in that one, and I believe also the best friends are in there, too, so they're going to be protecting Orange Cassidy. So for me, if this one, I'm going to go either picking Orange Cassidy or The Field, and I'm going to pick Orange Cassidy, baby. For me, I think he's one of the currently the best wrestlers right now. Best wrestling gimmicks going on. Like, he's really got it made. And I think Orange Cassidy, they need to just keep him with the title and just push him to the moon. Or, like, you know, get him into maybe a champion versus champion feud after this. Next up, we have the AEW World Trios titles, which is going to be the House of Black doing their, what is it, the Open House Rules match. And I think the Acclaimed are going to challenge them. And I think the Acclaimed are going to win. So I'm going with the Acclaimed for this one. So far, so far we have two title changes that I'm thinking are going to happen. Then we have Wardlow versus Christian Cage for the TNT title. We're going Wardlow on that one. I think Wardlow's going to come out on top. I think Luchasaurus is actually going to um, betray Christian Cage here. I think that's what's going to happen. That's how it's going to go down. Then we have Jamie Hayter defending her title against Tony Storm. And I love you, Tony Storm. She's really awesome. I really enjoy her character and the outcasts. I think they're all fabulous, but I'm going Jamie Hayter on this one for the victory. Next up, we have FTR versus Jay Lethal and Jeff Jerry. You know, the double J's, the dancing and stuff, but they've kind of got the upper hand on FTR over the last couple weeks. And I think FTR is going to get the big win here and keep the titles because those guys, they're just so over. They're literally like one of the greatest tag teams that we got going on right now so FTR I think they need to keep the titles and you know keep going for a little bit longer I mean they're so over that even if they lose the titles I don't think it's going to affect them at that all you know that much in terms of their popularity but I think they're going to take the win here next up we have the non-sanctioned match that's Chris Jericho Adam Cole with our guest Sabu you know Roderick Strong is going to be there, probably all of the JAS, you know, interfering and stuff. And I think Chris Jericho is actually going to come out with the win here. With I know he's the villain and he's going in and Adam Cole is trying to get revenge for what they did to Britt Baker. And I love Britt Baker so much. She's one of my, she's my favorite like AEW female wrestler. But yeah, I think Chris Jericho is going to take the victory in this one. Oosh. And now we have the match that I'm most excited for, and that's Blackpool Combat Club versus the Elite in Anarchy in the Arena. And I'm going Blackpool Combat Club. I love John Moxley, Wheeler, Yuta, Claudio. I was kind of hating the way they turned them into villains in that gimmick at first, but now I'm kind of I'm loving it that they're just tearing through everybody in AEW, and they're just basically claiming they're the elite, they're the best professional and technical wrestlers out there, and I'm loving that. And they're going against, like I said, the elite, Hangman Adam Page. We got Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. So 
but I'm siding with that Blackpool Combat Club, baby. And now we have the main events, the AEW World Title on the line with the four pillars match. And man, like I said, it's a little bit hard to predict this card, but <sighs> I'm going. I'm going MJF for the win. I don't think MJF's reign is over. I think MJF is going to grab the win somehow in this one. I just don't see Sammy or Jungle Boy or even Darby Allen. I know Darby Allen could probably carry the title and even Sammy Guevara, but I just don't feel they're the new face yet. I feel like MJF, he's, he's still going to hold on to the title, and I think there's a bigger feud coming down the line for him where he's going to end up losing it. So thanks for sticking around with me all for this video. I hope you all loved it and enjoyed it. And down below in the comment section, leave your predictions for Double or Nothing. Are you going to be watching tonight? Are you excited? AEW content. It's been a double weekend of pay-per-view, so very exciting. Like I said, I'm going to be cooking some Italian pasta tonight and enjoying the pay-per-view. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.